I think it's time we talked about a promotion. We don't have time for this, Vulcan. We need to move out before the rest of them get here. The passes are probably crawling with them already. There's a passage to the other side of the mountain. It will lead us to the swamp. The swamp? Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, did anybody see what I just did to that huge fucking monster? I mean, seriously. I fried that thing. I saved our asses and you're all just, hey, what's for lunch? I said shut it, Vulcan. choice. No choice? Hast thou even thought of choosing? Thou art fled like a thief, and thou hast left me, a shadow of myself, trapped here in this prison. I did not create this situation. I'm not even sure I understand what has happened. The hour for questions is past. Thou must act. It is I who will suffer for thy cowardice. I who will pay for thy fault. I who will face extinction. And if I must die, if the flame is extinguished, our world will die as well. I will not let the flame die. I am in a war against these necromancers, and at last I have the power to fight them. What dost thou hope to accomplish in this ridiculous human shell? As it is now, it is useless to us. The flame is not a toy for mewing infants. It exists to reign. Its power must not be stolen from thee. We must reconquer the world heart as swiftly as we may. Hey, Vulcan, enough of your daydreaming. Move your ass, huh? Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. My head feels like a bomb went off in it. Well, shake it off. We're still not at the end of this stinking swamp, and I'm not gonna carry you all the way to the village. Anyway, how come Hawk isn't the one with me here? He's the lead scout. I always go with him. Hawk is covering the back of the line. So this time, I'm the one who goes with you. You'll get over it. Let's go. You lot are about as discreet as a herd of hunchbacks. I thought that elves were supposed to have superior eyesight. Do we look like stiffs to you, dickhead? Not yet. The 
but with an arrow sticking out of your throat. I'm certain that even a chatterbox like you could do a passable impression. And you'd be the next one down. Possibly. Perhaps I should aim for the largest target first. Not if you want to keep both your balls. What have we here? Buffalo in person. Well, that's a good sign. What's going on here? Who's the scrag with the pointy ears? Thanks for noticing. I try to keep them sharp. I'm called Relmar. And I gather the red-faced fat belly with the filthy beard is none other than the famous Elric, leader of the Freeborn Blades. They call me the Captain. All the Freeborn Blades call you Captain Elric. I have no doubt that they do. As for me, I've never had much interest in titles or in military protocol. I judge people by their deeds. His rank was granted in the field. You seem like you know enough about the Freeborn Blades to know what that means. I have enough knowledge of your history to know that your leader has made a name for himself. So, yes, call him what you will. The fact that he is your captain concerns only you and those availing themselves of your services. That's enough! We're not going to stand here bullshitting all night. Just what the fuck are you doing here, Relmar, you horse-tongued bastard? Looking for you. Well, I began by searching for the Red Scribes. Prince Arundel is wounded. We had to withdraw to Valvanor, where I learned that you were expected. I just wanted to make sure you found your way there. This is not my first walk in the wilds, arsewipe. As you can see, I'm on the right path, and we've nearly reached our destination. Captain, those creatures I told you about this morning are gathering nearby. They're probably getting ready to attack us. Ah. Uh. Well, those are called chrysalids. They wait until they have gathered enough numbers, and then they overwhelm you. And it would seem your little group is attracting a whole swarm to the village. Well, we'll give them a welcome. Actually, in spite of themselves, these creatures do an excellent job of keeping dead walker scouts away without raising any suspicions. If we allow them to gather here and then massacre them, I fear we'll be moving their territory a bit too close to Valvanor, which will lead to our being discovered sooner or later. I suggest we send one or two men back. This will keep them separated and occupied while the rest make it to the village. I'm ready to volunteer. If you fear I might try and slip away, I know the area well. Sounds like a plan to me. Vulcan, you're on it. I want to go too. I... The animals and plants in this swamp are extraordinary. And the venom of these chrysalids seems very interesting. I'd love to get a chance to observe them more closely. Sybil, that is out of the question. Have you lost your mind? It's too dangerous. Come on, let her off the leash. It'll be good for her. I promise I'll bring her back in one piece. Vulcan, rule number two. We'll see you at the village. Sybil! See you later.
all around us. life. I can't wait to discover all the species that live here. There is so much to be learned. Ah! Ah!
Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? We need to talk about your combat style. What do you want me to do? I know you want to help me, but you gotta stay alive to do that. Think of defending yourself a little. You're right. I will try to be more careful. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? I have discovered a few things about the small chrysalids. They are much faster, but it seems that they can only attack from close up, using their pinchers. I also noticed that the medium-sized chrysalids were slower than small ones, but they, however, can fire tiny projectiles. So, Elas is your father? Yes. And yes, he is the leader of the Red Scribes. That's handy for you. You are so predictable. Daddy's little girl can do whatever she wants, right? Don't fool yourself. I'm endlessly having to prove myself more than any other scribe. My father doesn't treat me better than the others, and I expect no less from him. At least that explains why you look like you just stepped out of a library. I guess he encourages you? Yes, of course. But I'm big enough to make my own choices. Knowledge fascinates me. And I suppose it would have been like that whoever my father was. What do you know about the Ice Lords? As much as it is possible to know without having met them. In some ways, they're quite fascinating, even though the term might seem inappropriate. Perfect. How do we kill them? <laughs> if I knew that, do you think I would keep it to myself? But I can tell you this, we do believe it's possible. We know that there are seven Lords. Black Storm, Lady Crystal, Marshall Winters, the White Lady, Lord Blackfrost, the Chiller, and the Ice Duchess. Everybody knows that. We've had our asses kicked by them enough. For sure. But in the past, there were more of them. Some scrawls talk of nine or a dozen, even of thirty lords. Of course it's confusing. And I doubt they would have freely given the information of how to kill one of them. But you can bet that some of them have died. We just have to discover how. Do they have any weaknesses that we could exploit? Not that I know of. All of the Ice Lords are powerful sorcerers. They are far more powerful than all the other magicians. They have an unlimited army. If they have a weakness, it's not that. But in spite of all of this, you think there is something? I do. We often imagine the Ice Lords as a vast megalithic power. But that's not true. In fact, they desperately hunger for power. Just because they pulled their powers to create the Deadwalker army doesn't mean they like each other. Their balance of power is precarious. As soon as they are done with destroying Vergil, they'll probably start killing each other. Sure, but that doesn't help us much if we have to wait until they're done. Perhaps there is a way to stir up the tensions between them. Even if for the moment, I can't think how. Where did they come from? Most people believe that the Lords appeared recently, at the beginning of the war. But I have found certain scrolls that lead me to believe they have been around more than 300 years. They are originally from a region far to the north of Vergil. For a long time, they remained there. The beginning of their conquest is quite recent. We all think that the war started 10 years ago, but in fact, it is much longer. Maybe even the last century. It took them a long time to escape from their region of origin. The Dwarf Kingdoms were in their way, and they put up a fight. <laughs> you had me going there for a moment. I'm sorry, but Dwarves? Save it for the children. But you're wrong. The Dwarves did exist, but the Ice Lords exterminated them. Right. And I bet they also massacred all those poor dragons and goblins. <laughs> you know that dragons and goblins don't exist? You're impossible. Let's change the subject.
I hear they call you Vulcan? Why is that? Look, all us Freeborn Blades have a nickname. We leave the past behind, and whatever we were before doesn't matter in the company. So, what do you do now? Yeah, you know, I blow things up. Stuff like that.
Uh, this is not the time for a walk. I should meet up with the others at Valvenor. Help him out before it goes bad for him. Despite his determination, the knight was in an awkward position. He thanks the mercenary for having assisted him in his task. If he can trust the rumors that he hears around the village, he has before him one called Falcon. He has the pleasure of welcoming the mercenary to the village. And you are? The knight is called Randall, last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights, and now protector of Valvin, this village. The new arrival is most welcome. The steward is waiting in the old village inn. 